Buenas noches. This is the reason why I never went to get a tarot card reading. Too much patchouli, an abuela dressed in belly dance outfit, uh, and Khodorovsky, a filmmaker known for El Topo, agrees with me. And he has been studying the Marcella Starod in order to become, to make it a psychological tool. There are symbols everywhere. You see a cross and your mind makes an association that is completely your own. Brand names, um, logos, everything is a symbol and we are surrounded by them. For some, this may be a very offensive image, while for others, might represent a dream. And your mind takes it in, it takes the four barbed wires and that's the tarot. The Marcellus deck that we're going to discuss has been restored from the, as you can see, incomplete in colors and symbols, old version, to something that resembles the original deck. The tarot is just what it is. It's 78 pieces of cardboard with different designs and 11 colors. We call them arcana, which means secret, as in secret meaning. There's 56 uh, minor arcana and 22 major arcana, and together they form Carl Jung's mandala, which is a mirror of the human soul. You're basically looking at human existence from a very wide perspective, and the secret of the tarot is this one. We're all fools, in love with the world, and to get what we want, we need to transform. It's very easy. We need to change in order to get what we want. And the process will be as hard as your life is will, it, it will going to be. Uh, sometimes your change is going to be very uh, grounded in reality. Sometimes it would be spiritual in your inner life. The world is everything. It's everything you want and need. And this particular deck divides existence in four different parts, all contained in number 21, the world. The swords, metal that you forge, that you sharpen like your intellect, your mind, your ideas, your culture, your learning, everything that you think, your philosophy on life. The cups, the symbol for love, the holy grail, feelings, hate, instinct, passions from the cathedral all the way to the cup that falls. And then these are the pentacles, which come from the earth as minerals, and they are shaped into coins. This is your material life, your health, everything that you are, uh, your territory, your lifestyle. And the cups or sticks, which is your sexual or creative life. In this particular deck, love and sex are separated. And here you have the evolution from an idea to something that wasn't there and you have created. Then we have the triumphs, and these are human emotions. The, um, these guys, uh, the ballets, that they cannot decide what to do. The queens are obsessed with their ideas. The kings are very, very much into their symbol, and the knights take that idea out. These are some of the examples of cards that you might get, and this is how we're going to explain to you how this is not magic. We all understand about beginnings. We all understand about having something that we need to do, and that we need, and that we have everything to begin with. We all go to crisis, and after those crises, don't we feel better? Don't we feel like we're doing what we want? Every end of a cycle is the beginning of something new. There's no bad news here. This is not to be read as a negative tool. This is not to be read as the future. The future is your own. It's very responsible to tell somebody, you're going to get sick, they will get sick. But if you tell them they're going to succeed, that they're going to be OK, even if that's a bit far-fetched, <laughs> then it will be OK. Remember that you have the power to see beyond the obvious, and you have the responsibility to use that information for the greater good. 
Muchas gracias.